All right, folks, welcome to RA Outdoors. Thank you so much for all the comments, the likes, the subscribers, and thank you for uh, supporting my channel. So let's go tie another beautiful jig here, folks. You can see my camera here. This is the material that I want to use. This is brand new. I ordered that a couple days ago, and we got to do this because beautiful materials here, guys, so you can try in the spring, all right? So in my bias here, folks, this is 116. Uh, we have three colors here in this jig here. This is size four BNC hooks, really sharp hooks. I really like that jig. All right. So in my bias here, this is a yellow in the bottom and a little bit blue and purple and a little bit white, if you can see that. So I want to match as soon as possible all the colors. All right. So I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel, all right guys? And thank you so much for watching. All right, let's go start guys. So before you wanna do, and I wanted to do this step by step, so it's gotta be good for everybody to so learn something. Let's put some glue frost before we start our thread. Now I wanna use this uh, mano, this is black, all right? So I wanna start behind that head here and you just go back all the way back to the hoop point folks here all right i'm gonna go step by step so you guys learn something here folks just take this off now first material that i want to use i want to use this uh I'm trying to match a little bit everything this is a marabou yellow color okay um i have a piece ready to go here folks okay so it's easy for me, so we'll save a little bit of time, okay? So I wanna take a mayor, okay? Uh, but I really don't wanna make too big that profile. I wanna be not too big, but not too too fat, not too skinny either, so all right. So that should be enough here. I wanna grab this with my left hand side, folks, and cut this off, okay? Just like that. And I want you to take wet this material, and just wet your fingers a little bit and just wet this a little bit like that. Just put it right there on top of the hook chain, folks. And make a couple wraps. And when you make a couple wraps, go back all the way to the hook point. I want to stop right there, okay? Then come back behind the head and leave your thread there. All right. Me personal, I like to put uh, the materials a little bit down and trying to have the materials around the hook shank, but you push it down first with your finger and then squish that. So what this does is gonna make the material around the hook shank. All right, all right, look at that. It's all the marabou around the hook shank, all right? Now, um, the second material that I wanna tie, I wanna, I wanna use this, a, a strong, neck hackle and this is a black and yellow color just trying to match that head a little bit so i want to show you guys how to take the fibers off of this piece here you can see i have a piece here this is a long fibers so what do you do put it like this right and just push those fibers down like that and then grab it from here like this push it down first like this all right you see the fibers okay now you grab this piece here and take that down. You see that? So you have all the fibers here, okay? So I wanna stack here, this like this, with your fingers like that. Grab it like that and put this away, okay? And you wanna do is leave it here for a second and you wanna do this side too. So flip them out the other side, like just like this, all right? You see the fibers there? and do the same thing, grab the fibers and put it down. So what you have here is all those fibers. Look at that, all right? Really easy, guys, so you guys learn something in the future. It's not hard to do it. So I took the fibers. You can see here the tip of the hackle here, all the fibers off, all right? So I wanted to put just a little bit um, fibers in this bottle here. So it keeps a nice profile and it keeps a nice different color in it. Just trying to match that head. Now, this piece you want a little bit shorter the tail. It should be enough like that, all right? So I wanna grab this with my left hand side and cut this off, okay? And put it right there on top of the hook shank. 
and make a nice tight wrap so and go back again to the hook point. All right. So it's going to give a nice, uh, beautiful tail of that jig. You see this? You have a little bit black in the bottle, like that. Matches the hair a little bit. Okay. Now I want to use a this new material here, folks. This is a, I want to put it right there in camera. This is crystal flash. This is hot yellow color, okay? And I wanted to have this piece here ready, so I took a one piece, fill it up all, um, both sides. So put it right there on top of the hook shim, folks, and just make a couple wraps to secure that. And just bring this piece back again, like that, all right? And just tie them up, all right? Tie it really nice and go back behind the head again, leave your thread there, you see? So I have a couple pieces here, and I like to do is cut some of the long ones and some of the short ones. So it'll give a nice profile on the tail. You see that? All right. Now, me personal, I like to put a lot of glue into the body here. So when I tie my chenille, it sticks really well to the body there. Okay. So put some enough glue there into the body here. All right. Both sides. And this side and this size too here. Okay. Now for the uh, body, I want to use this uh, new material here, folks. Okay. This is the name of that material. There. This is Fat Tuesday, size four large. Okay. You can get this in www.ningsrustaco.com. Uh, you can get the materials there. I already seen this material in eBay. Okay. And this guy have a lot of sparkles, folks. Look at this. Check this out, man. A lot of sparkles. Look at this. Look at this material. I really love that. I can't wait to try this jig here in the spring. Look at this, guys. All right. So I already put some glue there. So I wanted to tie this really quick there. Okay. So take a couple fibers off here, folks. Okay. And when you see the thread right there. You can tie that up, okay? So put it right here on top of the hook shin, right there. Make a nice tight wraps there, folks. Just leave your thread there. So I want to, this is going to be a little bit different. I want to start wrapping behind the head all the way to the hook point and then come back behind the head. So that should be wrapping twice to the body, all right? Now, right now I'm going back to the hook point. Okay, and then now going back behind the head. You see that? So that's twice wrapping in the body. You see that? Let's make a cross here and make it one, two wraps and another cross like that. Make one, two wraps and that should be enough. Just be carefully cut the thread off here. And that's, that's, that's it, folks. And let's go take the wet finish here. Finish this guy up here. So I got my wet finish here. Let's go finish this guy up here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go put some more there. I got five there. Okay, one, two, three, four. That should be plenty enough. This guy can go nowhere. Just be careful. Cut that thread off right there. And what do you do now? Just put some uh, glue into the thread, into the mano. And why not in the head too to make that shiny and glass color there? Look at that, guys. I think it came in really good. What do you guys think about this? Huh? Especially the head, my friend. Look at the colors that I have. By Wednesday, I should be making another video, folks. Stay on for more videos because by Wednesday, I should be making a video to keep it jigs free again. So stay on for more videos, huh? Let me take this out of my bias here, folks, so you can see much better really close to the camera there. So you have an idea what I'm talking about here in this beautiful crappy jig, folks. Look at this guy here, folks. Look at the head. I really like the colors because the colors, amazing color that I did, uh, looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. Looks beautiful, that jig. What do you guys think, guys? You guys think he's going to... Catch some crappy, this guy here. Okay. So make sure you make a comment. I want to wait for your comments. I want to wait for your likes. I appreciate all your support, folks. 
I really do because you know what guys uh, thank you for the support thank you for all the likes the comment I know you've been sharing my video so tomorrow I want to make a video uh, keep it free jigs for you guys and all materials okay you can come strong and um, let me see what you guys think guys just, just make a comment okay just make a comment see what you think about this new color this new uh, material there so make a comment and see what you guys think and uh, support our channel uh, that's the only thing I ask for you guys is thumbs up for more videos subscribe share the videos and that's all I need okay folks I uh, appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time in tight lines, folks.